Okay, good afternoon everybody and welcome to ODI for this meeting today on Rethinking Public Works and Social Protection for the 21st Century. I'm really pleased to welcome you all today, both the people sitting here in the room in London and also a quite considerable number of people who are joining us online. Um, before we really get onto it, I'm just going to do a few housekeeping issues for you. Um, the first one is to just remind you that this event is on the record. It, people will be able to watch and listen to it online later. And so if you're thinking of saying anything that your boss, for example, might not agree with, just consider it for a moment. Um, the second thing is that if the fire alarm sounds, please can you make your way out through the doors by ODI reception. So basically the same way that you came in. Nothing more complicated than that. Can you all please turn off your mobile phones or switch them onto silent um, so that it doesn't interfere with the microphones in the system? Um, and then um, just make sure that when we go to the Q&A, please speak into the microphone so that everybody who is listening online can hear your questions. I will be taking questions um, on the tablet from people who are online as well, but I will feed those back to the plenary. And then finally, there are publications related to the event outside. Um, the World Bank book is, is um, available online, and we are selling some copies of Anna McCord's book outside. You'll be able to pick them up um, then. So um, we're holding a joint ODI event today um, with the World Bank, and we're launching two books on public works programming where we're analyzing the global application of popular instruments and their role in addressing challenges that we see in the world today, enhanced risks, changing labor market structures um, in low and in middle income countries. Um, so the two books are the World Bank's book, Public Works as a Safety Net, which looks at design, e evidence and implementation, and Anna's book on public works and social protection in sub-Saharan Africa, asking whether public works work for the poor. And what we're going to do is have the authors of the publications presenting their key findings. Um, on the one hand, they're going to look at design features, and on the other hand, offer a critique of the potential and the limitations of public works programs. And then we will have um, a response from Stefan Durkin from DFID, who will be reflecting on the findings from the two books, and we hope raising challenges that will launch a discussion that will then take place with participation from the audience. I'm going to try and police these guys very, very closely. I was watching a football match last night, which saddened me deeply because one of these was raised, and it's the, it's the end of the world for me, I'm afraid. So hopefully I'm going to only have to use the yellow cards that I have with me. Any other Manchester United supporters in the room? <laughs> also feeling similarly unhappy. Um, and so we'll try and keep the time to allow a good 30 <coughs> minutes for discussion at the end. So we're going to move on first to look at the World Bank book. And <coughs> I'd like to welcome our two presenters. So we have Colin Andrews, who's an economist in the social protection and labor practice within the human development network with the bank. He has 10 years of experience working on both analytical and operational issues across Africa and South Asia. And we also have Carlo Del Nino, who's a senior economist in the same unit and has worked on several aspects of safety net policies and programs. Um, he's mainly worked, again, on Africa and South Asia. So can I hand over to you? Your, your 20 minutes starts now. <laughs> 